In 2017, leaked pictures of an unidentified Russian aircraft surfaced online. The mystery aircraft was spotted stationed at several runways, and photographs taken between trees showed the indistinguishable silhouette of an unmanned combat aircraft vehicle, or UCAV, similar to Northrop Grumman's X-47B. A few days later, a state-of-the-art Sukhoi Su-57 fighter was photographed with unique markings on its wing, displaying the figure of the mysterious drone alongside an Su-57 with a lightning bolt between the two. Only then did the media realize that Russia was about to launch a stealth drone companion known as the Okotnik, or Hunter, with never-before-seen capabilities to fight wing-to-wing -wing with the Su-57 as a one-man unit. The MiG Scat Following the tremendous success of the unmanned aerial vehicles employed by the United States Armed Forces in the War on Terror, the Russian Ministry of Defense ordered the secret development of a combat UAV in 2012. Although Russia had already employed drones before, the intent was to develop an autonomous fighting vehicle that could directly rival the latest American models. The Sukhoi aircraft manufacturer was explicitly chosen by the Ministry of Defense to come up with the drone's design, with further cooperation from Mikoyan, or MiG. Both companies took direct inspiration from the Mikoyan Scott, a stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle concept initially developed by MiG in the early 2000s. Using a flying wing configuration, the Scott was designed in the shape of a triangle, with one main wing structure and no tail. It had a length of 33 feet and a wingspan of over 37 feet. The Scott could carry weapons in two ventral bays that were large enough to fit KH-31 missiles and was to be powered by a single Kilmov RD-5000B turbofan engine. That would allow the drone to reach speeds of up to 497 miles per hour with a maximum service ceiling of 39,000 feet. A single mock-up of the drone was unveiled in 2007 and managed to attract significant international attention. However, the program never moved beyond the mock-up stage and was cancelled in 2012 due to a lack of funding. Even so, the Scots' ideas found new life with Russia's new attempt at a drone, a project dubbed the Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik, or Hunter. The Russian Hunter The first mock-up of the Hunter was delivered for ground tests in 2014, and the first prototype was revealed in 2017. Like the Scott, the Hunter is based on a flying wing configuration. The drone has a wingspan of 65 feet, a length of 45 feet, and a height of 9 feet. And although it has not been fully revealed by the Ministry of Defense, its approximate weight is over 49,000 pounds. The Hunter uses composite materials and stealth coatings to reduce its radar signature and make it low observable during flight thanks to its state-of-the-art electronic countermeasures. Mimicking the Scott's design, the Hunter also has two internal weapons bays to store up to 4,400 pounds of guided and unguided munitions. A single Saturn AL-31F or AL-41F engine powers it up and allows it to reach speeds of up to 620 miles per hour, with a service ceiling of 59,000 feet and an approximate combat range of over 2,500 miles. Although the Russian Ministry of Defense has shared little information about the specific integration of this sixth-generation unmanned aerial vehicle with the Su-57, sources have reported that the Hunter has drastically increased the fighter's radar and target designation ranges when used against hostile enemies. Initial Tests In November of 2018, the Okotnik drone performed a series of initial taxiing, speeding, and stopping tests on a runway in the Novosibirsk Aircraft Production Association plant, or NAPO, where the Hunter achieved a top speed of 125 miles per hour. A few months later, an Su-57 prototype was spotted wearing the paint scheme with a silhouette of the Okotnik Hunter on its top, 
further cementing the electronic connectivity and data-sharing relationship between the two works in progress. After performing other small flight tests in the Napo plant in early 2019, the drone performed its maiden flight on August 3rd of that year. During this feat, the Hunter was successfully aloft for 20 minutes at an altitude of 1,968 feet, making several circles around the Chakalov State Flight Test Center in Akhtubinsk. Only days later, the Russian Defense Ministry released a video of that first flight. Perfecting the drone. In September of 2019, Russian authorities announced the type's first flight alongside the Su-57. According to Russian Defense Ministry reports, the UAV operated autonomously and flew for half an hour, practicing interaction to expand the stealth fighter's radar coverage and detect targets that could be hit with long-range airborne weapons from outside the zone covered by air defense. Russian news agency TASS also reported that the September 27th joint flight was part of the ongoing flight test program for both airframes. In a December 2020 press release from TASS, Sergei Chemizov, head of the state high-tech conglomerate Rostec, told reporters that the drone could also carry quite a powerful armament. After a stagnant period forced by the COVID-19 pandemic, the Russian military conducted a series of interception flights with the S-70 Okotnik, including simulated use of air-to-air -air missiles. These tests evaluated the drone's capability to operate as a fighter interceptor. The simulator flights took place at the Ashluk training ground near the Caspian Sea and included both infrared and radar homing missiles. Until then, flight tests had only focused on the flight performances of the drone, and the 2020 flights were reportedly the first time it was evaluated for combat duties. Final frequency response tests were successfully conducted two years later, in May of 2022. What's next? The plan was for the Russian Ministry of Defense to begin receiving aerial deliveries of the Okotnik heavy attack stealth drone in 2025. However, in 2020, the developers received direct orders from President Vladimir Putin to speed up deliveries and finish 80 hunters by 2024. With Russia's long history of deferring, canceling, and reviving combat aircraft programs, there is a possibility that the plans for the Okotnik B project will change, and it seems like the Kremlin is still working on developing the exact roles and operations of the S-70 and how it fits with other platforms. However, one thing is unquestionable its symbiotic relationship with the fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jet pilot. In an interview with a local newspaper, Andrei Yelchaninov, deputy chairman of the board of the Russian Military Industrial Commission, further reiterated that the drones will be loyal companions and operate under the control of an Su-57. According to Yelchaninov, quote, these planes and drones can interact not only with each other, but also in various types of combat formations. Within a very short time frame, there will be a possibility to control several Okotnik drones from the Su-57 cockpit. In August of 2020, Yuri Slyusar, head of the United Aircraft Corporation, reported to President Putin that the Okotnik possesses unprecedented capabilities. In the executive's report to the leader, it is written that the device has the best combat range amongst all other Russian drones, in addition to the widest range of weapons and equipment. Furthermore, only two other nations, the United States and China, are capable of designing and manufacturing machines of the same caliber. While the specifics are still murky, it seems like Russia's Okotnik stealth drone, a universal baseline platform to carry advanced air launch weapons, onboard reconnaissance systems, and several other pieces of equipment, will make its official debut in the upcoming decade. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. For more on the latest military developments, as well as history's most significant battlefield feats, click on your screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels, where we publish new content regularly. Stay tuned.